Hi, Hi everyone. everyone and welcome to the Disney World travel vlog. <laughs> it is here. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. No clouds in the sky, but I can't away. Feels like it's been a decade. So I don't call because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt. Yeah, I'm not today. Feels like it's been a decade. So I don't call because I'm gonna be on break. I hope you are all doing really, really well. If you're new to the channel, my name is Georgia. I'm Jay. Bit of a backstory. Back in January, we got married in New York City and it was incredible. You can actually see the vlog series on this channel. But because we were away for our wedding already, we decided that we didn't need to honeymoon straight away after the wedding because we were already practically on holiday. So we decided to do the ultimate mega Disney trip and do it in our favourite month of October and do Horror Nights. Nikki's not so scary. And see all the Halloween decor and eat all the snacks and just have the best, most Oz time at Disney World. So that is what we're going to do. We've had a countdown of 436 days which has been insane the longest countdown ever but it's finally here and i can't quite believe it we've got all our stuff packed ready to go we're not flying today we're driving down to london heathrow tonight stopping overnight and then we're flying tomorrow about half three ish yeah. i think yeah got a little bit of a later flight in the mm -hmm. afternoon which means we do get into orlando at eight o'clock but the flights were so expensive to go earlier so we were just like let's take the l and yeah. get a bit of a later flight it's fine yeah we don't have to check out of our hotel at heathrow airport until 12 o'clock tomorrow. It doesn't have to be stressy. We're chill, we're breezy, and we're about to go. We are so excited. So now we have to pack up the car, and you have the You say this way. Yeah. <laughs> Jay is gonna pack up the car, put all the cases in the car, and mm -hmm. we're gonna head down now to Heathrow, and we're staying at Terminal 5, so we're gonna drive down there, might get some dinner on the way. No traffic, please, no mm. traffic. It is Friday rush hour though, so yes. we'll see, fingers crossed. Yeah, I've not really got anywhere good to show you, but I've got on this Austria jumper, which is a teddy jumper, just to be cozy in the car and everything. Flared leggings and Nikes. Got all the cases here, fully packed, hand luggage, and then we've got two 23 kilogram cases that we can check in tomorrow. So Jay is gonna pack up the car now and we're gonna head off. Okay, we're in and ready to go. Got all the cases in the boot, which is a triumph because fitting them is always hard, isn't it? It is, it's a Tetris. It is. Ready? So ready. Let's go. Ah! We're in the car, we've officially made it onto the road which is a good start. We are actually just heading to get some food because we've decided that we're gonna get some food before we start the long journey because it's five o'clock now, so we are a little bit peckish and we'd rather just eat early, wouldn't we? And then get to the hotel and chill. We've, we've played it quite smart, so we've not actually done a big shot for the house leading up to the holiday mm -hmm. because there was no point because things would just get spoiled. So, yeah. slim pickings really, so. We've unfortunately got to go and get a McDonald's. Yeah, really sadly, we have to go and get a McDonald's. Well, we've chosen a McDonald's. We were umming and in for a moment there, weren't we? Mm. But McDonald's is on the cards. Sometimes it's just gotta be done. It's true. So, we're heading to McDonald's now, gonna eat, and then we'll officially be on the road to Heathrow. We're probably just gonna eat in the car because we've got all the cases in the back. And, and there's also no real rush because we're not flying until tomorrow. So this is just a chill drive down, no stress, no worries. Yeah, we really didn't want to drive down in the morning, even though we've got like an afternoon flight. We just thought that would be a bit stressful because what if there's traffic? We just, we want to start the holiday on a really good note. note. Oh geez, chaotic driving already. Mm. It's that time, it's that time on a Friday. Yeah. Anyway. How long do you get to get home? Food time. What are you having? I'm gonna have, I always get the same thing at McDonald's. Quarter pounder with cheese, meal, yeah. and mozzarella dippers. Currently doing mozzarella dippers at McDonald's and Chef's Kiss. They are mwah, beautiful. So I've got to get those. Very good. <laughs> what are you getting? I think I'm gonna go for the McSpicy. And I say it every time, oh, it's not that spicy, but it sneaks up on you. McSpicy or a quarter pounder, what would you choose? Who's got the best McDonald's order? Let us know. Jay just said, oh, I've forgotten my sunglasses. And what did I say? You'd already sorted it for me. I had already packed them. I mm. should get wife points for that. I put them on the windowsill so I knew where they were. And I just thought, oh, I didn't pick them up, but I put them there specifically so I knew where they were. And obviously they weren't there because Georgia had already sorted it out very kindly. So it didn't occur to me that I needed to pick them up. So it's my fault that he it's forgot them. It's all Georgia's fault. But also my fault yeah. that you didn't forget them. There we oh, go. I cannot win. I cannot cannot win. win. Just chuck the food on me. We'll chuck it down there. Yes, thank you. Thanks so much. Put it between the legs. <laughs> Put it on the floor. Just put all the stuff 
up in the van. Gonna get on the road now. Now is officially holiday time. Whoop, 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 whoop. Getting the honeymoon playlist up. This is a playlist that we made months ago, specifically for this drive. So we're gonna put that it's on got now. It's a mix on it, looking at it. It does. <laughs> I was gonna add that. <laughs> 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 the Pickwick triplets. If anyone watches Only Murders in the Building, you will know. That Absolute song. Bop. It's literally everything. Right. <laughs> Honeymoon uh, playlist on. Uh, We're gonna get driving. Wearing dresses, going all to different places, different planets. Got your aura past me by, losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chance? We made it. To find out where to park. Do what you just did? No. <laughs> Jay screamed <laughs> when he saw the hotel. I mean, that's woke me up at least. When you come in to the Sheraton Heathrow Terminal 5, you come around the side yeah, and keep you come going. to this little car park, and that is where you can park. And we've got parking here for two weeks. That's actually amazing. We just need to try and find a spot. Yes. Jay is getting the cases out. <laughs> Priorities. Sorry. <laughs> Got one more case to come. No, two more cases. Ready? Figure out how to. My favourite thing about these chip cases is that the handles align. Yes. Okay. That was the most unhinged driving experience oh, it was ever. Awful. <laughs> There's a lot of wild. Wild drivers. Yeah. Oh. Husband Jew is. It's gonna be a good trip, guys. You can't vlog and watch the cases at the same time. I feel so mean. <laughs> We're literally in the last room. <laughs> I know we had to look at all the cases, but we've made it. We've made it. This is gonna be awful getting. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm gonna try all of this stuff. It's nice. Is there a light? Yeah, there's a light. Oh, <laughs> Very nice. It literally feels like we're going to New York again. Oh, here we go. <laughs> is it comfy? It is. Does it feel like two minutes since we were here last time? No. Do you want to do a little room tour? MTV crib style. Just, come on. <laughs> what have we got? We've got a very spacious bathroom. <laughs> I mean, it's all right. Yeah. For a night, it will do, won't it? It's Got all nice and clean. Toilet, a little sink. Shower. Shower. Very, very nice. nice. Jinx. Mirror here. There's one thing this room has. It is a lot. A lot of big mirrors. Of mirrors, yeah. Side table. We've got a nice bed. What's in this cupboard? Safe. So you've got your safe. Ironing board, iron, which is good. Very nice. Some hangers mm. in case you want to hang anything. Can you open them? The light goes on. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and then over here we've got, <gasps> yeah, the best part. Oh, Do you remember stuff. this from last time? Yeah. We've got a little coffee station with Biscoff and honestly having a little cup of tea with a Biscoff. Mm -hmm. One of the best parts of this whole hotel. Then you have this little chair here which we always just dump our clothes on. Oh yeah, it has a very nice TV. We actually got YouTube on this TV last time. Mm, we did. So that was good. This hotel has the hugest mirror above. Hugest. <laughs> the bed, it's really random. What we're gonna do now? So, we need to, hello. We need to go and do our taxi for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you how to do that, it's really easy. I need to go and put the little leaflet thing in my car so they know that we're parked up. We may go and get a drink in the bar mm -hmm. as well, the little. I wonder if they'll make me an Aperol. I bet they will, they're bound to. One thing I will say about this hotel, it is buzzing, there's so many people downstairs, mm. it's wild. Like we walked in and it must be where flight attendants from airlines that are abroad stay yeah because there was like so many flight attendants just waiting to board this bus all together so i'm guessing they're going to the airport it was so chaotic we were trying to get to the desk thing to check in mm. and they were just like walking past walking past and we Never were like ending. it was literally like we were stood there like i remember that from last time too it wasn't flight attendants last time just very busy and like buzzing they're saying it's like eight o'clock like i know it's a, i know it's a friday night but just yeah it's super busy downstairs but we are gonna go and have a little explore all right let's explore <laughs> to double check. So they have these things in this hotel where you can pre-book your taxis. You just click book a new ride. We're going to Terminal Three. Yep. We're going next. We're and going tomorrow. Saturday. And then what time? Twelve? Twelve ten? Did we say? Yeah, just to get us out. Perfect. Twelve ten. It's a one-way trip. 
practically it just books it for you so it's really handy here he comes man of the hour with the drinks <laughs> oh it looks incredible yum let me move my bag there's like a little table here look so i'm just gonna stick my bag on there i don't think it's meant for that but oh, yum how much was it ten pounds for both 10 pounds for both that is not bad do you know what i was expecting that aperol spritz to be like 20 quid or something we're in the bar by the way now it's really really nice in here it's nice and chill yeah they've got like all these books up top and they're like playing some vibey music that was 14 pounds for both 14 pounds for both do you know what it's not too bad for an alcoholic drink it's okay. yeah it's not too bad i'm not mad i'm gonna do a taste test yeah is it gonna be a good aperol spritz Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10, 10. One thing we forgot to do. What's that? We've not cheers oh, no. to the hall. Holidays, Oh yeah, I forgot you have to drink after a cheers. I actually can't believe that we're sat here. I know, it doesn't feel, it still doesn't feel real. Like, I've literally been thinking about this for what feels like forever. I'm thinking like, oh, when we're sat in the airport hotel with, at the bar, we'll know we've made it and we're like on our way and now it's here and it just feels really wild. We're so, so grateful to be able to do this trip and just sitting here, it's starting to feel real. So there's a little bit of a problem because we've got in the bed and now we're very tired out of nowhere. Had a lovely Aperol spritz in the bar, which I was kind of hoping would help me sleep a little bit because I have this thing in hotels where I just cannot sleep the first night in a new bed. So obviously if you're only in the hotel for one night, that just means you can't sleep at all. So I was hoping it would make me a little bit sleepy, but it's actually made me a lot sleepy. So now we're sat in the bed and it's not even nine o'clock and we're very tired. Are we gonna watch that film? Yeah, we're probably gonna watch, well, try and watch a film. I, I think just after a two hour drive, I'm pretty done now. I'm good. There's a new film out on Prime today called Totally Killer, which is a Blumhouse film. And obviously that's like in fitting with the Horror Nights mm, thing. So we think we're gonna stick that on if we can get Prime on the telly and just get in bed now. We're very, very tired. I really do want a good night's sleep before the flight tomorrow yeah. because I feel like that would just set me up and make me feel better. Set you up for success in the day. It will set me up for success. I was up really early this morning so I feel like I really need it and then also we've got the room until 12 so I feel like we don't really need to rush, rush. yeah like we can just take it at our own pace have a lie in watch telly in the morning mm. we'll just see see what happens do you know what I mean so far loving this hotel it is so lovely you said it felt posh it does feel a bit posh yeah it does it's like very modern and just nice the vibes are really nice in this hotel so yeah. I would recommend if you are wanting to stay at the airport before it is at terminal 5 so if you're flying from terminal 3 which is where I think all the virgin flights fly from it might be a a, out of the way. yeah it's a little bit out of the way but with the parking included I think it was 150 pound for a night plus two weeks parking which isn't it's like mid-range it's not like the most expensive you can get around the airport but it's also not the cheapest but I think it's worth it just the nice room and bar area and the restaurant actually looks really nice so we might eat in there the next time we stay here because i would stay here again I would, I would definitely stay here again yeah so i mean this is our second time here so that says it all really doesn't it yeah we stayed here before our wedding in january and we really really loved it so when we were thinking of staying again before disney world it was a no-brainer really like yeah. we really liked it last time really really great hotel and we it also seems because it means like now i've not got to do any drive Hi. <laughs> Hold on. Because now it means that I don't have to do any driving. So that's all done. We're getting an Uber to the airport tomorrow. Just left my car, forgot about it, chill. So mm -hmm. it's nice and easy, don't have to think about it. Yeah. And if you don't like, I'm not a big fan of driving up to airports really. It's just roads of madness. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gets rid of all of that. Your car's nice and secure for the two weeks. Worth it in our mm. opinion. What are you most looking forward to? Like the one thing that you're most excited for when we get to Disney? So we said it in the car where I've not really thought too much about the Horror Night stuff recently. And that's really cool. We're looking forward to that but i think i'm most looking forward to all the star wars stuff yeah jay's not seen yeah. the star wars stuff before so he's really excited for that i think mine is yeah horror nights mm. i'm so excited for horror nights i literally have not stopped thinking about i think i've thought about horror nights every single day since we booked it to be honest so i'm so mm. so excited for that you're still gonna be scared i'll still be scared <laughs> but i feel like it's gonna be fun like yeah. the whole point is to be scared mm. talk about being scared let's find this horror film on telly okay this is the current view we didn't get prime on the telly but we've got it here on the laptop so we're gonna watch it now this film called totally killer and we're gonna just chill and we'll see you guys in the morning for the actual florida travel, travel day. day oh 
Okay, it's the following day and we are just about ready to leave the room now. I actually had an amazing sleep. That's unheard of for me in a hotel on the first night, so I'm feeling really good. I still woke up at 7am because my body's just used to that because of work and everything, but that's absolutely fine. It just meant that I could just lay there, think about the day ahead and just get excited. Jay has just gone to park a couple of things that we're not actually taking with us, but we bought to this hotel into the car. So he's just nipped out and we're gonna hang around for a little bit because we don't don't need to leave for another 45 minutes ish we've literally got pretty much all of our bags ready to go we just need to make the bed and everything but that's going to take two seconds so that's fine I have been sat in this chair just chilling and it's honestly so lovely. Just to recap, we stayed at the Sheraton Heathrow Terminal 5. We've stayed here before, absolutely loved it. Now we are about to fly to Florida. We're flying with Virgin Atlantic and it's a nine hour flight, I think. So we take off about 20 to four and then land about 8 p.m. Orlando time. So I'm hoping that means that passport control isn't very busy and we can just sort of fly through when we get to the other side, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, whatever happens, we're gonna be in Orlando so it doesn't really matter. I feel like when you get to that sign, like the Virgin Atlantic sign, that's when everything feels real so I'm so ready. Okay. Right, it's time to leave. Go just check the room, I make sure we've got everything. Left it as we found it. Yep. Somewhat. I think we've got everything. Yeah. I always worry though, I always think we're gonna miss something. I know, I will put the face right back. <laughs> Nice. Bye room! Bye room, you've been really good. <laughs> under the big Virgin Atlantic sign that you're going on holiday. We're gonna go check in. That's a bit busy, but hopefully we'll get through it quite quickly. Yeah, fingers think, crossed. Hopefully. We're through, and first things first, we need to get some food because we're so hungry now. Yeah, I'm get, I can tell you're getting hungry. We are I'm gonna come back. Hungry. We're gonna come back and look at duty free, but first, food. food. <laughs> Just been into prep, fought for our lives in there. It was yeah. wild. Jesus. And we got the goods, got but... Disaster struck because they weren't doing ice lattes, no. so I'm gonna have to hunt that out somewhere too early else. Just for that. Too early for an ice latte. I don't know. <laughs> it's the afternoon. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's the afternoon, guys, and they weren't doing ice lattes, so we're gonna have to find that somewhere else yeah. because I'm. It might be a cafe Nero job. Yeah, I'm desperate. Yeah. Now we have to somehow find somewhere to sit in this madness. Look at seats over there. You see loads of seats. Okay, I'm gonna hunt for a seat. All right, we've been inventive and made a table. Yeah. Got a bottle um, of water. I got a. Italian style chicken and basil hot wrap. Very nice. Yep. I got. You've got like a granola yogurt berry thing. Yeah. Five berry bowl. This looks incredible. A couple of croissants. Yeah, a couple of croissants. Almond and chocolate croissant. Yum. <laughs> this is really, really good. It's basically like a berry compote with Greek yogurt and then it's got granola on the top. Love this. This is so, so nice. Go on then, try a croissant. Like a chocolate croissant. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it looks good. It looks okay. We'll see. Out of ten? <laughs> like a four. <laughs> a four? Yeah. Oh no, crap. It's a bit pants. Sad. Okay, Jay gave the chocolate one a four out of ten, but this looks like a solid croissant to me. It's an almond one, so let's give it a go. Enjoying your croissant. It's like all over my face. <laughs> it's gone ten past one, and our flight hasn't even been announced yet because we got through security. Super early. So we're probably gonna have a mooch around, duty free, see what's what. I wanna look in some mm. shops, definitely. Yeah. And thinking I might treat myself to sneaky pair of sunglasses. Yeah. Maybe, we'll have a look, we'll see what they're George is well and truly in holiday mode now. Doing some sunglasses shopping, what we're going for. They look alright they do, they're cool. I'm so tempted to get Ray-Bans, but then I'm like, oh, I just don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Yeah. I'm also always tempted to get Ray-Bans or get a fragrance, but I have enough perfume and I have Ray-Bans in my bag, literally, so 
I don't need those. Just for the sake of it. Yeah. You can literally get everything in here. It's how they get you. Yeah. Get through security real quick and then your boredom spend. Yeah. This is Jay's favourite section, the chocolate section. It's my favourite but I'll never buy anything. Yeah, Toblerones. Toblerones. Yeah, that's my section there, the sweets. My one. <laughs> like, I would buy that, but obviously <laughs> I'm not going to take that to America. Just this, Marc Jacobs Daisy reminder anyone else of beer 16. This was literally like my favourite perfume at that time. And you know what a certain fragrance just takes you back to a specific time in your life? I love that. Yeah. It kind of makes me want to get holiday fragrance. To remind you of the holiday. Yeah, yeah, because the Glossier one reminds me of our wedding. Glossier U. And then when I went to Australia a couple of years ago, I wore Bronze Goddess. And every time I smell that now, I just smell the Australia. Australia. Tempting to get idea. a holiday scent, it's tempting. Oh, okay, this is the fragrances that I wanted to try. It's called Replica by Maison Margiela. And they kind of go with the theme of what I was just talking about. They're all different scents. So you've got bubble bath, jazz club, like they're supposed to take you back to certain places. Oh, like that's okay. the whole point. So which one should we try? This one looks nice, by the fireplace. It's like a masculine scent. Yeah, that's quite nice. Let's try on a date. This one's called on a date. We thought about that. We're not very like, big on perfume kind of stuff, but no, I, do like the, I do like the idea of having them for like a holiday to remember them or something like yeah. that. Jay normally wears Sauvage and I normally wear Glossier U, but I'm open to a different one. Okay, this is the posh chocolate section. They're my favourite. Our neighbour bought us those. Was it last Christmas? I think so, yeah. Yeah, they're incredible. They're like the nicest, most rich chocolates ever. If you haven't had them before. I don't know how you say them. Goylin? Gillian. Gillian? Who knows? Oh, these ones too. They're supposed to be really good. They're expensive. £26 for the truffles. Mm. How many do you even get for that quite, price? It feels quite weighty. I think about... 240 grams. I think you'd get about eight in there. <gasps> Pistachio. A bit of you, that is. That is a bit of me. That sounds amazing. Coffee time. And it's actually died down in here, so... Yeah, it was, it's not that busy anymore. It was worth waiting, I think. Good old Cafe Nero came through with the ice latte. Now we're just finding somewhere to sit so we can sit, have the coffee. Taste test. It's all right. Oh, life. Yeah? Do you know what? I've never had Cafe Nero ice latte before. No? This. It's is really it, good. Yeah. yeah so it. normally you don't rate Cafe Nero, so. If you didn't know. I should be a Cafe Nero fan. Mm, you should really. Mm. I know. Maybe a convert today. Yeah. Mm. So good. There we go. Real quick as well. On this trip, we've got ourselves some air tags, and it said to us that they were left behind because we left them at check-in, obviously. And currently. Oh, they're together. They're together outside the building. Handy if you want to keep track of where your luggage is. But also, do not get an air tag if you have anxiety because <laughs> I cannot stop looking at this app. I think there's two people at the airport. One person who just wants to sit back and chill and then the other who's up and down every five seconds checking if the gate's ready or the gate's been announced yet. I'm definitely the first one. Let me know in the comments what you are because <laughs> I feel like there's one of each in every couple. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders. I'm closed off. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything's. When you're on the travel later, that equals Florida. Cause there's no going back. No going back, there's no going back to your own life no Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high We're on the plane and we're hoping that this seat is free The woman at check-in sort of put us on both sides of the aisle because she was like, oh someone probably won't sit in the middle So, we'll see But yeah, we're ready to go now aren't we? I have stocked up on bottles of water, like Jay has one over there and I have a whole bag full and then one in there as well because I have decided that this is the one flight where I'm actually gonna try and stay hydrated. Yay! Looks like the bags are on the plane. I'm going to try and find something to watch, so let's go, let's see what movies are available. 
have Asteroid City, which I'm actually interested in watching. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Love that. It's really, really good. <laughs> the Boogeyman also. You can tell I like horror films. Do they have anything Disney? Is the question. Oh, they've got Guardians. The Little Mermaid. We watched that the other week and that was really, really good. What else? Renfield. We watched that not long ago. And that's really good. There's so much choice. Oh, they even have Scooby-Doo. You know how to get to my heart. They have quite a lot of good stuff on here, guys. It's always so fun choosing a film to watch on the plane, in my opinion. What would you choose? I think I've shown everything. Have you seen anything that you would choose? Let me know in the comments. I think I'm gonna go for Scream. Is this the New York one? Yes, okay. This is what we're going for. Back to your own life. Living in the past. We're over that. I'm feeling it tonight. Riding on the dizzying high. The first ride of the holiday. Let's go. We're here. We got through. We'll talk more about the flight a little bit later when we get back to the hotel. But it wasn't that bad. It was all right. Yeah, yeah. I just actually can't believe that we're stood in Orlando Airport right now. We're here. Happy. Right there it is. Yay. <laughs> we need to get an Uber and check in to the hotel. Let's go. <laughs> but first, let me just show you. Yay! We made it. This terminal is so nostalgic. It's giving me all the feels. Anyway, what time is it? It is, I'm gonna say, it is 20 past nine. Does it feel weird being here with me? Yeah, this is our first time here together. Yeah. And it's our honeymoon. It's our honeymoon. Happy days. Yeah. Anyway. Let's go. Let's go get an Uber. Ready to go and, yeah, chill. <laughs> We've arrived and it's so cute. It says Sanderson and Robinson party because I haven't changed my last name yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a room tour, but we need to go. Yeah, we just ran here because we actually ordered pizza on the way here because we've not had any proper food. Yeah. So we need to go and run and get that and get a resort mugs as well. We are on the third floor of Broadway. So it was a bit of a walk, but it's actually really quiet and nice. So I'm happy with that. Got our honeymoon buttons as well so that was really lovely but yeah we're gonna literally run out the door now and go and get our dinner and our resort mugs which i'm excited for ready should i put my badge on success now let's go get food flight was very slow in my opinion i mean we were sat on the tarmac for like an extra hour yeah basically three people were ill so they had to get their bags off the plane and that delayed us by like 40 minutes so then we were late like landing by 20 minutes but we're here now and that's all that matters we managed to get all the bags up to the room and everything so that's great we're on the third floor in broadway i think i just said that we have to walk to intermission now to get a pizza because which way <laughs> we are starving like starving's an understatement actually we're ravenous we still don't know which way we're going i really want to get our resort drinks as well because minute made lemonade has to be had tonight i'll show you a little bit of the resort we're in all star music by the way if i didn't mention it so this is the little section that we're staying in so we're opposite the frozen sign that's what we need to remember when we go back we're underneath the lion king and aladdin yeah i think i think we'll remember that <laughs> yes i do this like the theme is one. It's amazing. This is the Broadway section, which I feel like really fits me because <laughs> I love musicals, if you didn't know. It's like they know. Yeah, it's literally like they know. So yeah, we told them when we came in that it was our honeymoon and the lovely girl at the checking desk gave us our happy honeymoon buttons happily ever after. So that was really nice and we had a photo. So well themed in here. It feels so Disney-like. It feels very Disney. And it has that Disney water smell, which is my favourite smell ever. Honestly, the dopamine that that smell gives me is unreal. Okay, the resort mugs have been purchased. We've both gone Disney 100, but Jay's is silver on top. And I have gone for the beloved Minute Maid Zero. And Jay's got a hot chocolate, which 
That's nuts in this heat. I had to try it. I had to. <laughs> we did say we were going to get here a little bit later, but you can change your order. So you can tell them that you're here now or whenever you get there. So they're just going to let us know when it's ready. It's going to get pizza for the room and then get ready for tomorrow. Full day of Magic Kingdom. Excited. Cheers to honeymoon. <laughs> that was so much a fail. <laughs> How's the hot chalk? I mean, it smells amazing. Have you had it yet? I haven't. I might take the lid off so it can like cool down a bit. Go on, have a try. Is it good? That's, you need to try that. That is incredible. Let's try. Sweating, it? Oh my god. Yeah, it's good. Mean, yeah, it's good. <laughs> tastes like milk chocolate rather than like, tastes like probably milky chocolate. Yeah, there's a hot chocolate connoisseur. As far as hot chocolate goes, that's pretty dang good. A quick room tour of All Star Music, which has, I think, recently been renovated in the last couple of years. I was going to say the floor looks pretty new. Yeah, it does. I think everything is new, to be honest. Mm. So there's a lovely coffee station right here. It's got an ice bucket and then we've got all of these little creamers and sweet and low and Joffrey's <laughs> love. Then we've got a little fridge down here. So that'll be good for when we go to Walmart. Little drawer. Then we've got this big dresser that we are gonna unpack into. So that'll be nice. Then we've got a table, which does turn into another bed if you pull. Yeah. Pull the handles. Then this is our bed with <laughs> mini Mickey and Donald on the back. I absolutely love that. And then we've got space underneath for our cases. I love that about Disney beds. Like you can just shove your case underneath and it fits. Oh uh, yeah, that's handy, isn't it? Lovely. Bathroom. I don't know where the light we have light, so got a lovely big mirror, got sink and H2O bath soap. I'm so excited to use H2O products. Got an ironing board, hair dryer. I've got an ironing board, amazing. A hair dryer is so good because we didn't bring us. No, didn't. <laughs> then there's a little bit of space for hanging. And then if you turn around this way, you've got the little shower, which is super clean. And the, the throne. <laughs> the throne. <laughs> and then there's your H2O product in the shower as well, which I'm definitely going to be trying out because I've heard good things. And a lovely shower head. In Orlando, the baths are so low. Like, if you've ever been here, you'll know what I, I mean. Say that's very low. Yeah, they go like right into the floor. But yeah, it's great because then when you stand under the shower, you're not like hitting your head or anything. Good. It's, it's really good. It's clean. It is very clean. That's the clean. main thing. Very clean and lovely. Mm. And really, really big as well. A lot of room. A lot of room over here for activities. For activities. For activities. Indeed. Yeah. Now I feel like we should open the pizza. We've not actually looked at it, We've not looked at it and I'm desperate to see what it looks like. Ready? Ooh. Oh, that looks absolutely insane. It's very hot. And the plan now is to eat this, unpack, and then get straight into this bed. We are all unpacked. The room is looking like a chaotic, organized mess right now. We're just gonna get in bed now and I've literally just sunk into all of these pillows and we're gonna watch some Disney cartoons because what else is there to do when you're at Disney than watch Disney cartoons? And we're gonna plan tomorrow, which should be like a big park day, which I'm really looking forward to. I actually still can't believe we're here. It sort of feels like a fever dream. You know, when we were driving to Disney, I was just looking out the window and I was like, like, I don't believe that I'm in Orlando right now. It was really bizarre. We ate our pizza, that was incredible. Jay actually threw away his second hot chocolate. He said it wasn't as good as the first one. If you leave it, it kind of dies down and it's not frothy. It's just like a normal hot chocolate and it's not as good. Pro tip. So the jury's still out on that one. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed the travel day. I feel like this has been the longest vlog ever. Like, I feel like it's spanned so long. I feel like when I started this vlog, it was like 10 years ago, but obviously, it's not actually been that long. I really hope you enjoyed. Please do hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you do want to stick around because we have a full Disney series coming. That'll be 14 vlogs of... The door just made a noise. 14 vlogs of Disney Parks, Universal, and we're also doing Horror Nights and Mickey's Not So Scary. So if that interests you, please do stick around. I would love to have you here. I'm going to end the vlog. So with that said, also sorry, look at this top. It says Florida. I bought this from Target last time. Anyway, I digress. 
gonna end the vlog get some sleep and hopefully jet lag won't wake us up too early but we really do want to get a tron virtual queue so i think i'm going to be setting an early alarm anyway <laughs> with that said thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see all my future content have an amazing day or evening depending on where you are and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>